In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Quick Steps in Outlook 2010. The first thing you notice when you open up Outlook 2010 is the new ribbon interface. And one of the most interesting new features is Quick Steps. And here's the Quick Steps area on the Home tab of the ribbon. Quick Steps are actions that you can customise. So this one here is one that I made um, and it's function is to send the currently selected email to the personal folder in the inbox. So if I just click it, that email is moved into the personal folder. To create your own quick steps and to manage the currently existing quick steps, just click on this little arrow and you get the manage quick steps box. So the currently existing ones are here and if I wanted to make any changes then I just select it and then click edit. So these are default ones that come with the program, I didn't make these. So this to manager one is just quite a useful one that you might want um, and, all, and you would just click on it and then it would forward the email to your manager. But of course you need to set that up so just click on edit and then you can enter the email address that you want in there. Also notice when you make a quick step or when you edit a quick step you can select a shortcut key so that you can just press that to make it happen. And you can even put text into the tooltip box so that when you hover over it on the ribbon, a little tooltip will appear um, to remind you what it does. This is another useful one that comes built into Outlook. You can remove it if you like, but um, it's just a suggested one which is a team email. So to enter the email addresses of a group of people, you just click on edit again and then enter the addresses here. To create a new one, go to new and then choose a function. So let's say move to folder. And I'm going to create one for the important folder within the inbox. So I'm going to call it important and that's what will appear here. And then just choose the folder and click finish. And now if I click on this, it'll send the email to the important folder. Another excellent new feature in 2010 is the conversation view for your inbox. If you use Google Mail, you'll have got used to conversation views because emails that are responding to each other, instead of just appearing in a row in the inbox and getting mixed up with all your other emails in Google Mail or Gmail as it is now, they are all grouped together. And that's extremely handy. And if you've been using Google Mail, you probably have got used to that. Um, so now you can get it in Outlook. Just go to View and then you can tick Show as Conversations. And then it asks you, do you want this to apply just to the current folder or to all folders? Click, click on all folders and there straight away emails that are a conversation are grouped together and you can click this arrow to see what's inside and then the individual mails show up inside. Notice this settings box here. You can choose to have the senders shown um, or you can choose to have it always expanded so that they're not hidden within the title. So those are two new features that are new to 2010 that make email a lot quicker in Outlook.